So, today we're going to look at unboxing the Comnet CLFE 1 EOC coaxial converter to Ethernet, which is, as it describes in the box, local or remote one channel Ethernet over coax extender with pass through PoE, which is a product that you could use to swap an old coaxial analog camera and put a IP camera in its place using this product. Um, if we open it, you would normally get these in a pair. Like <clears throat> out of the box you would only normally get one, but you would normally have two, so your coax would go in the middle of these connections and then you'd be able to plug your IP camera into that end with your power terminals there. Now in a new box you would get a power supply if you require one and that would come with each unit and then you just unfold this you would get a little protector plug in there. We've got a couple of fixing positions to mount it in the box outside, whatever that may be. Your coax connection, which would be between two units, would look like that. So your switch, your PoE switch or your normal switch would go into this end. If you're not using PoE, you put power onto this end. Then you'd run it over the coax. Again, if you're not using PoE, you put 12 volts in the other side and then you normally Ethernet out the other side or PoE if you're using an initially a PoE switch from this side. Dip switches that are in here will just show which speed that you're actually connecting at and which one is the master. I tend to find if you've got a joint anywhere in the coax, you'll probably struggle to get it to work at 100. If you haven't, then you be, should be fine using it at 10 or 100. You do get an instruction manual there that gives you basic instructions. And these LEDs will be different colors depending on what speed you've actually managed to configure the network speed to be at. There's buttons on the side here that you can use to set the unit to be master or to send it remote. So the button when you press it in will stay in. So this end now is the remote. So you put this at the camera end and this one with a button out would be your local. Inside the instructions, there's just basic instructions on how to set it up, basic configuration, how to set the dip switch settings, and basically using your PoE as pass through for your smaller cameras that probably won't power enough, possibly, depending on the make of the camera, a PTZ if you're going to do PoE, but I would imagine with most normal cameras it would be fine. Just check the specification before. And that's it really, there's not much really more to show with these, it's just the speed, whether it's one or two pair, remote or local, completely plugs out coax on one side, coax to the other, local power if you need it, or PoE if you're using a PoE switch. Hope that was of use to you. Thanks.